Thanks for letting us pierce you at New Flower Studio in Long Beach, California. We'll do our best to give you a unique and great experience. This video outlines our suggestions to help your piercing heal as quickly and comfortably as possible. If you've been pierced somewhere else before today, our suggestions may be different than what you've heard from other piercers. Many different factors will affect the way your piercing heals, and we hope this video makes aftercare easy to understand. If you have questions, you can ask at any time. You'll take a print version of this information home with you as well. You can see this video anytime on our website, where you can also download a digital copy of the print version. If you take antibiotics before dental procedures due to cardiac problems, you need to speak to your doctor before being pierced. You may need to take the same measures for a piercing. This is one of the questions on your consent form. If you're pregnant, we won't be able to do your piercing, so please let us know. This is important. Certain health conditions like HIV, hepatitis, and diabetes may affect the healing of your piercing. You can indicate conditions like these on your consent form. Your privacy is guaranteed. We can speak in private if you prefer. Also, piercings have no medical application and offer no pain relief for any condition. When caring for your new piercing, remember your body heals itself. And we want you to do the things that support this process and minimize things that complicate it. Good health is important to keeping your immune system strong and healing any type of wound. We suggest taking a multivitamin, eating well, getting plenty of sleep, and keeping your stress levels low. Comfort is key to healing a new piercing, so when it comes to the clothes you wear, sleeping, exercise, and all other activities, always make sure your piercing doesn't become irritated as a result. Any activity and clothing should be fine, as long as it's comfortable. Things that cause irritation are complicating the healing process. For the initial healing time of about three months, for most piercings, and maybe for the lifetime of your piercing, it's important to have good habits that allow it to heal and stay healthy. We suggest not touching your piercing with dirty fingers, and always wear high-quality jewelry that fits properly. Always rinse your piercings off thoroughly with water at the end of your shower to make sure soap products are completely removed. And for oral piercings, rinse well after brushing your teeth or using mouthwash. If you're wearing threaded barbells in your piercings, you need to remember to tighten them during your shower. Threaded jewelry can work its way loose on its own because the body moves. Keeping your threaded jewelry tight is your responsibility. We suggest doing this every time you shower so it becomes routine and you don't forget. Threadless jewelry can be accidentally pulled out, but it doesn't get loose the same way, so you won't need to tighten it on your own. Jewelry moves as the body moves, but we suggest never spinning, shifting, or rotating jewelry in a new piercing on purpose. Extra friction can only slow the healing time down and may cause scarring. Piercings can heal slowly, or scar anyway, intentionally spinning your jewelry can make that worse. Having patience is important. Any new piercing may bleed, swell, be red, irritated, inflamed, tender, or even bruise. These conditions are the strongest for the first three to seven days, and mostly gone in about two weeks. You may see these conditions come and go over the next few months. The first 12 weeks can be a series of up and downs. Some problems with your piercing may not appear until 8 weeks or later. After the initial healing time of 3 months, you may continue seeing a clear or white discharge that seeps out of your piercing and dries. This is a normal part of the piercing experience and can be cleaned off with plain water or a saline solution. Different people have different experiences. 
It's important not to panic when you have difficulties with a piercing. If you're concerned about anything, just come back in so we can see you. Oftentimes, saline products can soothe the irritations of a fresh piercing. If you can safely take them, ibuprofen and naproxen are popular pain relievers and anti-inflammatories that may help with discomfort and reduce swelling. Ice packs can also help with inflammation and swelling. With oral, facial, and ear piercings, consider keeping your head elevated when you sleep by using extra pillows. Most of the swelling and bleeding you have may happen overnight while you're lying down. Alcohol, caffeine, and blood thinning medication will influence your bleeding and swelling. Please use caution. Always use medications as directed, but minimize your intake of caffeine and alcohol for the first several days and any other time a piercing seems swollen. Oral piercings tend to swell, and your initial jewelry will be larger than you'll likely need to wear long term. Plan on downsizing the lengths of the barbells in about two weeks. Use ice and anti-inflammatories to help minimize swelling. Eat soft and cool foods where possible. Remember, alcohol and caffeine may cause extra bleeding and swelling, so use caution. Smoking may also be irritating, so rinse your mouth with water or alcohol-free mouthwash after smoking. In about two weeks, a tongue piercing should be healed enough to gently brush your jewelry when brushing your teeth. The barbell will collect tartar and plaque, just like teeth do. So if you never brush the jewelry, debris can build up. Everyone knows piercings need to be cleaned regularly. Dried blood, discharge material, and dead skin can build up around the jewelry and piercing. This debris always needs to be removed, and it's important to use products the way intended by their manufacturer. Nothing you have at home in your medicine cabinet or first aid kit or on the shelf at the pharmacy is likely to have body piercing instructions on the label. This means you should avoid the common things you're familiar with, like antibacterial soap, peroxide, neosporin, alcohol, Bactine, and other similar products. Your piercer will tell you when there's an exception. For basic cleaning, we suggest using plain water or specially made saline products. Anytime and every time there's dried material on the piercing, just moisten it to remove it. Also, take a shower like normal, but remember, your soaps, shampoos, and other cleaning products are not good for your piercing, so rinse your piercing thoroughly with water at the end of your shower. It's the same for oral piercings, like tongues and lips. We know you're going to use toothpaste and maybe mouthwash. Use them like normal, but remember, they're not intended or healthy for your new piercing. So rinse your piercing well with water after using toothpaste or mouthwash. In addition to soap and antiseptic products, there are some other things to avoid with your new piercing. Cosmetic products like makeup, hair products, and lotions can really cause problems. Bodies of water like lakes and pools can also be risky, so keep your piercing out of the water during the healing time the best you can. Your piercer can talk to you about this if you have questions. At New Flower Studio, we have several aftercare products made by piercing companies that are perfect if you prefer to use speciality items. We offer great soaps made for piercing. You would apply only a small amount of soap and gently massage the area around your piercing. Use them at the end of your shower and rinse thoroughly with plain water. Do not intentionally work soap into your piercing. Saline sprays are very gentle and convenient to have when healing. They're great in the first couple of weeks of a piercing to relieve the expected irritation and discomfort, and can still be used long-term while healing. They can be used as needed and don't require rinsing off. However, if you feel the skin around your piercing is becoming dry, use less often or rinse with plain water a few minutes after application. We also have saline wipes our clients love. They're convenient and can be used to safely remove dried material that collects around a piercing. 
Vitamin C and zinc are important nutrients for healing and immune system support. If you don't already take a supplement, we have something perfect to use during the healing time. For oral piercings, we have an antimicrobial and alcohol-free mouthwash. The state of California has body art regulations for the jewelry materials we're required to use for initial piercings. We also follow standards required by the APP for its members. We'll be piercing you today with implant standard stainless steel or titanium, niobium, gold or glass. Our staff can tell you what you need to know about the jewelry you'll be wearing. We suggest visiting us again for a checkup in two weeks. There are certain conditions we expect to see with your new piercing at this time. When you come in, we have an opportunity to make any necessary changes to your aftercare. When we do a new piercing, it's important the jewelry fits properly to allow for swelling and natural movements of the body. The jewelry you start with for an initial piercing may not be the piece you wear long-term. We often make adjustments in about two weeks. Your piercer will let you know what to expect. After the initial healing time of about three months, a lot of clients look forward to wearing something new. New jewelry arrives often, so we should have something you'll love. We suggest you continue wearing high quality jewelry from a great studio and let a professional change it for you. Please make sure you keep something in your piercing at all times. And when you want to change your own jewelry, be familiar with how it works. If you go without jewelry in a piercing, you may struggle to get something back in safely. Thanks again for letting us do your piercing at New Flower Studio. If you have any questions or concerns, make sure you come back in so we can take a look at your piercing. We hope you have the most unique experience possible in a piercing studio. New Flower Studio